what will be next will be in one way or another applying the quantitative and risk management skills that actuaries have uh, to environments that we can't even envision today. Uh, we won't know today what tomorrow's environment is just as 10, even five years ago, we wouldn't have known what today's environment was. But the application of the skills to a different environment is going to be the key. I think you will see more transparency, um, more mark to market, better understanding. I guess the old adage that sunshine is the best disinfectant is probably true. And I think that's a place actually do have a big role in making sure things are transparent, making sh trying to be able to get the public to understand what is really happening in these financial institutions. In the past, actuaries were employed by insurance companies and, and the government, and over time, um, more and more actuaries have moved into consulting roles, and, and now um, all major corporations and public entities, municipalities, um, all seek the advice of an actuary and, and it's given us an opportunity, both the insurance company actuaries and the consulting actuaries, to, to be involved at the senior levels of organizations to advise on risk. The traditional view of an actuary was, is much different from what the actuary of today is and uh, looking forward I think actuaries are going to be counted on to be more dynamic in terms of uh, risk management helping clients and, and prospects and their customer base understand where the risks are within whatever line of work they're talking about, how to um, not run from the risks, but understand the risks and manage the risk. I think there's been a lot of concern about how we can make ourselves be as relevant going forward. And I think that um, the Society of Actuaries and the other actuarial organizations have done a good job at recognizing that need and helping make sure that actuaries realize that we have to be a lot more than number crunchers and that we have to have business acumen, financial training, excellent communication skills. And if we can bring that entire package together that we can be not just quantitative advisors or number crunchers to the folks that we work with, but we can also be business advisors and you know, serve a wide range of roles for, for our clients and the other folks that we work with. I think the next opportunity for the actual profession is to become a bigger part of the financial services industry, not just the insurance portion, but also from an investment portion and also risk management. The opportunity for risk management is great out there. The actuaries have built a credential and I encourage the profession to, to sell that credential and encourage other people, actuaries and non-traditional actuaries, to achieve it. I foresee seeing the actuary as chief risk officer, not only at insurance companies and investment firms but, or banks, I see them in, in all of the corporations. I think we have to be perceived as being on the leading edge in terms of what we'll call the hard science elements of what we do and at the same time be top-notch at talking about and communicating what we do. We have to have the right answer and also be able to communicate it and explain it. We've heard from chief actuaries whose role has changed in light of the fact that the organization is paying much more attention to risk. I think each of these roles are possible roles for our younger actuaries to develop into. And it is the common um, denominator, if you will, of all of these positions is the need to better articulate what the actuarial proposition is. As we move into more of the educational process, for example, in order to be prepared for it, many of our younger actuaries are going to be studying a lot more finance than what we have as actuaries that have been in the business for a while. Uh, so that change is going to give them a different perception of actuarial work. We're not going to be afraid of derivative products and the use of derivative products as a risk management tool. In the past, actuaries have been the experts in being able to calculate reserves and capital um, by the rules. Rules nobody else understood, so actuaries had a nice job. But um, the changing landscape of regulation is going to require actuaries to take more responsibility for, um, for how they calculate reserves and actually and how they manage the how the firm gets managed and how they value liabilities and not just follow a cookbook. For the actuarial profession, I think the opportunities for the next few years lie in what I will call non-traditional uh, career paths. The actuarial profession is known in insurance and financial services 
actuaries certainly can be used in other areas of the economy, be it manufacturing, operations, retail, they all can provide a service and particularly from a risk management standpoint and I think it's important that actuaries start branching out into those areas makes it makes the actuarial profession more well known and also enhances our value.